But first, we're seeing how to make fresh blooms and how they can really decorate your pumpkin. Here in the Price Chopper kitchen with me is Audrey Kiefer. She's from Oh So Lovely Blog. We are talking all things faux floral design right. with these pumpkins. I saw pictures and they did not even do them justice. And the best part is they're super easy and really pretty affordable as well. I just want to put one on my porch, so can we get started here? Absolutely. Okay. So you'll want to start, you could use real pumpkins for this, but I want to keep these around for years to come because you know you want to put the time into it. You want they're to gorgeous. Little, keep them around. Yeah. So I just go, I went to Michael's, that's where I usually get my pumpkins, but they have them in all sizes, as you can see, different colors, um, different shapes. I mean, you can really get any kind of, anything would work for this. Mm -hmm. And I did spray paint one. This used to be black and I spray painted it a navy just because I wanted to kind of use more of a jewel tone. And did you prop this on top of yeah, a that candle was some, holder? I got it at a thrift store and I spray painted it copper. I kind of change out the color every once in a while and I just kind of prop up my pumpkins that way. It's so inventive and it gives you that look of dimension. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Thank you. There we go. <laughs> Sitting right there. Okay, can we get started? Yeah, absolutely. So really all you need is a glue gun and you can do a drill. I'll, I'll kind of explain that in a little bit. And then you can just get a bouquet of faux florals and your pumpkins like I mentioned. Uh -huh. That's really all you need. So what I do is I get started at the stem and you're kind of kind of want to do a sweeping motion with the florals. So okay. um, what I do is I start with a leaf at the top just to kind of, it kind of disguises some of the other florals you might want to stick in there. Okay. So yeah, if you just want to put a glob of the glue right at the top, there's really no no wrong way to do Glob it. Glob of glue. There you I go. Love that. Yep. Easy peasy. No way to go wrong. <laughs> so yeah, you just kind of stick that on there. Obviously, watch, the glue is hot. Obviously, so watch your fingers. Okay. And then I just kind of start building in. So if maybe you want to do some more glue, like right there, okay. then I'll just kind of start piecing in the florals. And then I like to hide them underneath the uh, to start at the leaves, just to kind of hide some of the mm -hmm. the glue and all that. And I have seen on projects like this, you actually can't use too much greenery because it gives it that depth. Yes, absolutely. And okay, so what we do, you keep, then we'll do a leaf. If you wanna go ahead and do another glob okay. glue. So really, all you're doing is just building and building your way down the pumpkin. And I like to stop kind of halfway through, so you really don't need a ton of florals. And if you do get a bouquet, it usually does like four or five pumpkins, so it really goes a long way. I so love really, this, it feels like adult Girl Scouts. Just exactly, yep. yeah, and it's nice <laughs> for a rainy day like today. And okay. you wanna just keep More doing glue. that, yep. And all we're doing is rinsing and repeating the steps over and over until we work our way down the pumpkin. And if I can do this, anyone can do exactly. it. Exactly. My five-year-old could help do this. This is great. Okay. Okay, so keep doing that, as I say. And then if you want to do, I like to add a succulent, too. Okay. Some of those actually come in the bouquets, but you can also buy them separately at mm -hmm. a craft store. So I might do another little bit of, let's see if you're going to do a little more glue right under that flower. Perfect. And then if you want, um, the drill kind of comes in here because the succulents are just a little bit heavier than these okay. flowers and the hot glue probably wouldn't hold them for too long. So what um, you do is get a drill bit that is similar to the, okay. the size of the stem. And this is really easy to drill through. So maybe if you want to drill, maybe right in there. Okay. Yep, straight I can't in. believe you're trusting <laughs> There you go, right through it. Perfect. Okay. All right, and then all you do is stick this right in here. And you don't even really need to glue it on. And you'll see it's a little awkward, so then you'll want to just start filling in with mm -hmm. more leaves and greenery. So, and that was thing. so easy. Yeah. And it goes right through it, because it's really kind of full of a styrofoam. Okay. So yeah, you just start filling in random leaves, you name it, whatever you can find. You know, just work with whatever colors you want to go with. This is yeah. so easy, and you're going to have such a different pumpkin than anyone else on the neighborhood. Exactly. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. if you want to, we could just probably finish it out by doing one more one glue more? there. One more yeah, glue. Yeah, one more glue. I was getting drill happy there. Yeah, I know. I get, you get kind of <laughs> excited when you start going then we only really do it once for the succulent. Okay. So really all you would do is you know finish it out maybe you could take like something that's a little bit of a stem and bring it right underneath the succulent and wrap it on down. You think this Yeah way? exactly kind of creates that sweeping motion. Okay. And then once you do one you get even quicker on the others and I, I knocked out two in probably 20 minutes. And okay. There you have it. And we don't even put a jack lantern on this one no. it's just done beautiful inside yep. and outdoors. Easy. Yep. Well, thank you so much, Audrey. This is perfect for fall. Absolutely. Thank Phil, you. 